We are so happy to welcome Tennis Channel family to the BNP Paribas desk. Steve Weissman, Chanda Rubin, and there is Shelby, Shelby Rogers. Congratulations. Another great effort out there today. Fought through in the end. What got you through this one? Honestly, today it was just grit. There was a lot of tough things going out there on the court. Uh, I struggled with my serve a little bit today, but, you know, as long as you win the last point, that's all that matters. So I'm really happy to get through, especially in two sets today. I have to ask you about the tie break. I mean, there were so many parts of this match where you were impressive, the way you hit through problem areas, hit through any bits of tension. But in the tie break, you were down set point, and you came up with this unbelievable forehand. Where did that come from? What was the mindset and how did you close it out the way you did? You know, I just told myself to, if I'm going to go down in that set, go down swinging <laughs> because there were a couple moments throughout that set where I did get a little bit passive. So I just told myself, play, play Shelby tennis. You know, if you're going to lose, lose the right way. <laughs> and uh, so that came up. I don't, <laughs> it obviously wasn't planned that way, but I'm really happy it went in. Mm -hmm. I kind of surprised myself. <laughs> I don't know, tennis gods were doing something. It was maybe a little, a little revenge for that little let cord, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> yes. It, it evens I out. I mean, it's only fair. I mean, she's an incredible ball striker you are of course as well but what are some of the challenges of playing against Ostapenko specifically and you know obviously you got through this one today but it's not easy not easy at all. I mean, she's so incredible hitting her angles. And they're flat, too. She hits her targets so, so well. And her returns are incredible. She puts so much pressure on your serve. Um, and anything you leave in the middle of the court, you're toast. You know what I mean? So you just feel like you have to hit really, really good shots every time. She makes the court look really small. And that's the first time I've beaten her. So there's a lot of, you know, built up. I don't want to say frustrations, but... Um, uh, you know, failures <laughs> from the past. So I was really happy to execute Motivation. the game plan. Motivation, right. <laughs> execute the game plan today and really get that gritty win. Yeah. Not only, you know, so, some some failures or whatever, but th those were some emotional losses, right? So I was there in Charleston. That was your, your match back, right? Third set, tough loss there. And then last year, on your birthday, quarter your first quarterfinal at a 1,000. Thanks, I Steve. Keep going. No, no. I, was, <laughs> I, I, I like left the desk. I go to Spago. I have dinner. I'm watching you. And then I go down to the front row. And I'm like, you were, I think maybe it was my fault because you were winning. And then, and then you didn't. Yeah. But to get that win over Ostapenko today, finally, that, I mean, what does that mean? Yeah, it's incredible. And you definitely have a lot of thoughts coming into your mind, you know, like, oh, every time, I think every time but the first one has gone three sets, yep. too. So you're like, you know, you really want to close yep. this one out in two sets. Um, and you know, at any moment, if the ball's on her racket, she could just hit a winner from nowhere. Like, she just plays lights out sometimes. She's such an incredible competitor and a lot of props to her because she did fight really hard today. And again, I'm just really happy <laughs> <laughs> that forehand went in. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, looking forward in, into this tournament, obviously your next round, I mean, you're enjoying this win right now, but what are the, some of the things that you have improved in your game? What's allowing you to play that kind of tennis in those kind of big moments, have the confidence that you have in clutch uh, moments on the court? And that's exactly right. It's the clutch moments, and I think I've really been working on the commitment aspect, like commit to what you're going to do and go all in. If you're, you know, a little bit wishy-washy and second-guessing yourself, it's just not going to happen. These girls are way too good. So I really try to remind myself, like I said at the end of the match, go out playing my kind of game swinging because it feels so much better to lose that way than you know this one uh, and it goes in the net right so you know just commitment I think is maybe the theme of this year commitment play Shelby tennis all right you've got a, a new coach who's your new coach and how's that going don't make me say his name <laughs> Come on. I call him Peter. That was the first day I said, hi, I'm Shelby. I'm going to call you Peter because it's a Piotr or something. <laughs> um, but he's been so much fun. He's got really great energy, super positive, and he sees the game in a really cool way. So it's we've had a lot of great conversations and some great practices, and I'm really excited to uh, see what we can do. All right. Uh, hope to see you back here on the desk again. Congratulations on the win today and uh, brilliant stuff this week. Thank you, guys. Nice to be here. I want to keep coming back. Come back anytime. <laughs>